Welcome to Mastery Math. My name is Joya Cox and today the focus is going to be on TIC 4.2G. Relate decimals to fractions that name ten, tenths and hundredths. Relate decimals to fractions that name tenths and hundredths. Let's go ahead and get started. I have word form, decimal form, fraction, and picture model. And it has to be in tenths and hundredths. We're going to start off with hundredths. Hundredths is the pennies. And so, in this case, we have 54 hundredths. It's four hundredths. And it's 54, 54 hundredths. So, five dimes and four pennies. So, it should look like this. 54 hundredths. The fraction of that would be 54 out of 100. 54 out of 100. The picture model of that would be, you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, shade in all of this. So all this would be shaded in. I think it's better by doing it this way so you can visually see the reason why it looks this way. So 54, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 54, 54 pennies out of 100 pennies or uh, five, 5 dimes and 4 pennies. Now, if you want to pause the video, hit stop, and then try the next one on your own, and then see if you get it right, and then check it. But I'm going to go ahead and move on. So the word form of the next one is 85 hundredths. So 85 should look like this. 8 dimes and 5 pennies, or 85 pennies. Now this time, it's 85 out of 100. Now I'm going to go ahead. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to go ahead and make the tick in between here to represent the fives because sometimes they will use a model like this. So we would shade in 1, 2 dimes, three dimes, four dimes, five dimes, six dimes. Seven dimes, eight dimes, and then a nickel. So that would it'd be 85. And then you would have it, uh, a nickel left and a dime, which would be 15 cents left. So. That's how it would look. That's a pie shaded in 85. Now let's try the next one. The next one is 1 and 50, or I'm sorry, 1 and 48 hundredths. 1 and 48 hundredths. So we have the and means that it's the decimal and the one is one whole. So it's 1 and 48 hundredths. 1 and 48 hundredths. Now, for the fraction, it's going to be 1 whole and 48 out of 100. Now, when you get over here, this entire thing is going to be shaded in because it's 1 whole. Because 100 out of 100 is equivalent to one whole. And then you have 48 out of 100. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. All this should be shaded in. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And all of that should be shaded in. Now let's try the next one. 1 and 65 hundredths. If you want to try that one on your own, hit pause and then check it and see if you're correct. 
1 and 65 hundredths. 1 and 65 hundredths. 1 and 65 hundredths. So we have one whole and 65 out of 100. Now, on this one, I tell students, you know, you can count it if you want to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we know that this is going to be This is uh, for all the representations of hundreds. The, uh, this is part A video. There will be part B, B, B video for the tenths, modeling tenths for um, the decimals and the fractions and future model and the word form. So look at the next video if you need to see how to model tenths. If you like the video, please click subscribe, like, leave a positive comment, share with your friends. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please uh, leave a message and a, a post. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful evening.